Hey guys, it's Ann. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look in on Blue. Now, we've been doing something behind the scenes here that you guys don't already know about. I am going to worm nap some worms for another project. So I buried a little bit of pumpkin under here in hopes that I could entice a ball of worms so that I could take it out for my new grit experiment. So let me put you down and let's see if we've found some takers. Okay, so we've got a couple sitting out on top. I'm just going to grab my handy dandy worm collecting cup. And grab the ones that are kind of hanging out on top, but then when we get to the ones that are associated with the with the pumpkin, hopefully they will be in a much greater concentration. Hopefully. There's still just a lot of worms just all over the place in this area. Let's see, I think I'm getting to the worm, maybe worm ball. Look at that, they're just all over the place. I'm hoping for a worm ball, otherwise I'm just going to have to light migrate some of these for my project. Okay, let's see. This should be... And they ate it all, and they did not give me a worm ball. Alright, well, I'm going to dig around just a little bit more to see if I can find a worm ball. Nope. Not yet. Pretty sure it was right there because I put that lid on top so it wouldn't, you know, lose moisture. Well, dang it. Alright, so maybe we'll find a worm ball at the business end. So as you can tell, this is the area of the wedge that should be finishing up right now. And uh, doesn't show any signs of quitting. You just see all kinds of worms in here. But we're going to just keep doing what we do, which is to keep pile them up a little bit and um, then starting at the other end. Alright, so best laid plans did not work. Thought for sure I'd get a worm ball. That was only about a week ago. But as you can see there are just a massive amount of worms in this area. There must be food here if if they're still here. So I'm going to make a spot and keep moving everything down. Got to make room for the more food. We still have about a bucket of stuff from Cece, so I need to get going before she cleans out her refrigerator again. Okay, so the wedge moves. So this part is less done. Here's that pumpkin stem. It's finally making some progress, but not this part. It's still hard as a rock. The parts that weren't covered are definitely dry, so they're going to have to get re-moisturized here in a minute. So that's another pumpkin stem. I should keep that cup close by in case I do find a worm ball. Another pumpkin stem. Seems to be, I can smell that there's some kind of food in here, but I can't, there's nothing I can 100% say, yes, this was oranges or or anything, but I did add quite a bit of moisture to the feeding end because it was really dry the time before. So hopefully that's helping because this is much wetter than I would normally keep my bin. But you know, it's not all about me, it's about the worms, right? And this is nowhere near getting ready to harvest, so 
you know, in, in the big scheme of things, if it's a little bit too wet, that's okay. Um, so I'll move you down here. Okay. Got to get pretty close to the end where we did feed. All right, we're down to about the last this much of the bin. So I'm starting to see a little bit in the way of uh, pumpkin. So let's see what we get. Still not a great worm ball. Really thought there would be just a big knot of worms. I mean, there is, there's a lot of worms but not all in a nice convenient ball for me. Come on guys. I was kind of hoping for a nice convenient ball so I could kidnap you for a project. They must have heard me. Okay, so this is the the sticks and stems from me uh, clipping my indoor plants as well as the green peppers that I overwinter in the basement. So it looks like they're they're doing a good job over here. They're just not all in a nice convenient ball. Let's see. Avocado pit there. If you have any questions about this bin, please put them below. I know a lot of people uh, don't have the luxury of having this big of an area to do just worms. Of course, in this basement of a super old house, uh, it's it's really a cellar. It's it's not a basement. Uh, you can't put anything down here. I think when I first moved here, I tried putting boxes of stuff, and it just instantly was damp and moldy. So, um, really, it's perfect for a worm farm because it's not good for anything else. Okay, well, let's move you down and we'll get ready for the next feeding. Okay, I'm going to put our sticks down at the bottom so they will get the greater amount of moisture. And the rest of this stuff is just leaves that are hanging out. So let me go get him some food. All right, well, here's the last of the pumpkin that I know of. It's possible that Cece has more pumpkin someplace, but this is the last that I have in my stash. Let me get them a little bit more, as there is probably a good 10 or more pounds of worms in here. Okay, there's some pineapple. Worms love pineapple. Cece must be having the same problem with cuties or uh, mandarin oranges that I've been having lately. And they just don't last like they usually do. But I'm going to kind of poke them a little bit so that they have the opportunity to get in there. And then I think this is bread. I'm going to disassemble that quite a bit. And then I'm going to cover that up with my dry leaves and whatnot that's been at the bottom. I trimmed my my jade, my indoor, indoor jade, so that should make a good barrier for any smells that anybody might pass her by. Um, I may or may not have some mice. I don't know why they'd be coming now. It's really strange. Normally you get them when the, the corn's been harvested. And that, that's been months ago, so I don't know why I'm getting mice now. But uh, definitely the cats have uh, dispatched a couple, so I know they're in here. All right, let's take a look and see what he looks like now. All right, let me back up. So here he is in all of his glory. That's 55 gallons of worm bin. That was a 55-gallon barrel. That was uh, cut in half and then put together at the seam here so that they have a full 55 gallons to uh, hang out in. Now if we go closer, we can see this is the part that is almost done and then this part right here is in process 
and then here is the brand new part where the wedge is just now starting with that food and the leaves and the clippings from my plants. This bin has its own playlist. I can uh, link to the playlist here and I can also link to the last video for Blue up here. If you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.